It has been a while, and I'm so happy to have you here, and we always have to have you here around the holidays. Oh, I love to be here around the holidays! Yeah. <laughs> We, she loves it so much that she actually brought a chair and, and sat for 12 days. She had like, yeah, she brought a lawn chair and <laughs> sat there because she would be part of 12 days. And we're like, sure. So uh, I understand you start uh, decorating in summer. Uh, <laughs> when, do I, you, when do you decorate? I decorate uh, the day after Halloween. <laughs> I, I, Wait, I, hold on. Does anyone decorate the day after Halloween? Wow. See? Wow. Okay, so go on. Well, I, I, <laughs> I call it, you know, giving thanks for Christmas. You know, because you, you can use your pumpkins from Halloween, you know, in your cornucopias, as long as you don't make them jack-o'-lanterns and you can't reuse them. Right. So. I see. That's why it gives you the idea to have a cornucopia. Yeah, okay. a cornucopia and, and, you know, it's Thanksgiving in the front, but Christmas in the back. I, I see. <laughs> I, and then when do you get your tree? I am one of those people who, uh, like, my tree is always in my garage. So I, I don't do real trees anymore. I just spray the, the smell. So, and when, <laughs> <laughs> so when do you put your tree up from the garage? Halloween? Yeah, it's, 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 it's up and ready to go, but I don't put the decorations on until, because I don't, I don't do trick-or-treaters. I, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that might be sacrilegious, but I don't, I don't pass out candy, so I, I make myself happy by you know, decorating the tree the day after Thanksgiving. So I mean, after Halloween. After Halloween. And so it's decorated now. Yeah. Um, you, uh, you are not terrific with technology. I'm going to say that. And no, I think you'll agree with me. I'm not. What's happening when you're trying to live stream something on Instagram? Well, OK. The first time I did it, I thought there would be something that said, you know, you're live. And I'm just sitting there eating chips and, you know, <laughs> drinking, waiting for the people to come on. <laughs> Uh-huh. I, I thought it would be like, hey, you're live. And I'm just sitting there arguing with my, my assistant. And he's like, you're live. And I'm like, no, I'm not. There's nothing that says I'm live. I don't hear anything. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see anything. Just snacking. Oh, my God. <laughs> yep. So, I mean, did anybody start, like, because sometimes people will write things and you'll see it scroll. I didn't know what that was. <laughs> I, I really didn't. Because of the one or two times I've, like, popped onto somebody's live, they're always talking to somebody, uh -huh. and then I realized I didn't invite anybody to, to, to talk to. Right. So it right. was... So they did, yeah. OK. Yeah. Um, it, b hey, before we, because we have a few minutes left before break, I need to know about your house being haunted, because I really love stories like this, and I do believe in ghosts. I do, too. So what's happening in your house? Well, I grew up watching Westerns, and I, you know, bought this house, and it was owned by a guy who did Westerns, so I must have been a fan of his. And I think um, he is my protector. Like, he, I love him, because... He kind of sorts out the bad people that shouldn't be there. He runs them out, um, you know. In what way? Uh, you know, if they stay at my place, uh, they don't want to come back. <laughs> so, <laughs> and that's how I know that they don't belong there because, you know, if you're a person that belongs there, everybody's like, oh, your place is so welcoming, it's so great. And, I, and that's how I feel about it. Uh-huh. But, I mean, have, have, have doors closed or things? Doors? Or... Well, when I leave for a long time, he, you know, he's a little... Shady, like the, the doors close, the lights go off when I turn them on. The only pro I love my ghost. I just don't want you bringing your ghost to my house. <laughs> I don't want anybody's ghost right. thinking they can be friends with my ghost. Right. Because my ghost can haunt me, but he doesn't haunt me. We have we have boundaries, you know. Yeah. Oh, other, so other people's ghosts, you know. Yeah. You know. No, it's good when a ghost has boundaries. Yeah. Um, <laughs> And then also, uh, some people may not believe in UFOs. I also believe in UFOs. I, I can't. Too. I can't imagine we're the only things in this entire, you know, universe. I had an encounter while we were filming. Encounter. Our whole crew did. And you brought a video to show this. I but did. Describe it first, because it's so short. Well, um, there are lights in the sky. All of a sudden, there are all these lights in the sky, and we we're about to shoot the big scene at the end of the film, and. The lights, it was just a million of them, and they started getting smaller and smaller. And so I thought the video was longer. Um, it was only like seven seconds because it started disappearing. I'm like, wait, you know, it doesn't look anything like it did in the sky. So they just, it didn't, it, not, not like a plane like comes into sight. They no. just appeared. It, they just appeared and they started disappearing. All right, so, and also look at the size of these and the configuration. I, I just oh, hope the men in black don't like come for me. I mean, that just appeared in the sky. And see, that's, that's, that's disappearing. Awesome. That's the end of it. <laughs> That's the disappearing. Yeah. <laughs> See, look, look. I mean, oh, look. 
Yeah. That's See, look, look. I yeah. mean, no, that's not a plane. That's not a plane. No, that's crazy. And, and other, other people were there and witnessed the, it. Too. Our whole crew was there. I wasn't expecting, I've always wanted to have a close encounter, but that was a little too close on a movie called Encounter. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it was, yeah, we'll talk about that. So we'll take a break. We're going to talk about the movie Encounter yeah. that you were, when you encountered it. When I encountered yes. it. We'll be back. More with Octavia. That's Octavia Spencer in Encounter. So it starts off, you think it's going to be one thing, but tell everybody what it is. Uh, we follow Riz Ahmed's character who um, uh, kidnaps his boys to save them from um, what he believes to be uh, an impending invasion. And we... Of aliens. We, of aliens. I mean, I, I know, guys, I know we had lights in the sky, but it Maybe was... that's why they were there. They knew you were, ta you were talking about them. I, I felt like it, it, it was a little, it was, it was kind of weird and wonderful at the same time. Yeah. So, and, and Riz is fantastic. Riz is one of the most brilliant actors out yeah. there, and the two boys playing his kids yeah. are brilliant. Yeah, and so are you. Oh, well, thank So are you. you. Thank um, you. So, let's talk, before we uh, run out of time, I want to talk about the documentary. Oh, right, to try. I, I'm really grateful we got to be a part of Jeffrey Drew's story. It, basically, about 25 years ago, uh, he was diagno diagnosed with um, HIV. And recently, he took part, he was the only person who participated in a study that might have found the cure for HIV AIDS. Wow. But for no money. He just No money. They, they didn't pay him anything. Yeah. It's getting Oscar buzz already, so congratulations to you, you on that. Thank and you. and Katy Perry, Katy Perry a song donated a song. It. Yeah, yes. it's fantastic. Yeah, and you guys will be able to see it on uh, Peacock, so uh, we're excited. Right to try it. It's like a thirty-minute, you know, it's a thirty-minute. Yeah, video. And you kind of, you really want to watch it because it's it's not just about people with HIV. It's just what Big Pharma is doing to this country and and paying for medication and why we need to be very involved and engaged. We must. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. Encounter is available on Prime Video December 10th. We'll be right back.